Hey, this is Rare coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 4. Give it up for Tony Hinch. Hello, please. everybody. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Feel that energy? It feels good in here. Right, I like this. You guys ready for a crazy Monday night or what? I like it like this. Yeah. I can feel the energy here tonight. There's like an extra light on or something. It feels yeah. good. <laughs> Is it that back neon? Is that normally on? No, I think this light's usually not so bright. Wow, I think we got... Put your hands together for new light bulbs yeah. at the comedy store, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Perform here so often that it's a noticeable difference when they replace the light bulbs from uh, 1972. Yeah. It's good to be here. A lot of fun things uh, that we have to promote right at the top of the show. We're doing the L.A. Podfest. This yeah, podcast yeah. that you're at, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Kill Tony, is doing the L.A. Podfest. One of those dates? Uh, it's next month. I think it's the 20th. We're doing the Friday show. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it's the 23rd, maybe. Uh, but it's next month. You can go to pod, uh, LAPodfest.com for tickets. And we're picking people out who perform on Kill Tony to, to come with us. So we're going to pick like five or seven people or something like that. Yeah, so be a us. new f- interesting person and sign up for the, uh, sign up for the show. Uh, and uh, I'm doing Boston's Wilbur Theater October 8th. That's a really big deal if you're listening to the live podcast streaming right now, Boston. That's where I'll be October 8th. In Chicago this Friday, Detroit Saturday, and Toronto Sunday with the Oddball Comedy Fest this weekend. Okay. So if you're listening live there, why not come out and see me and a bunch of funny people at the Oddball Comedy Something, oddballcomedyfest.com, something like that. Hi, live audience. Welcome back from the promotion part of, uh, you're at a live podcast. It gets weird for a second. I understand that it's weird for you, but for the people listening around the world, they get to see me. Like, I'm in, uh, I'm in Australia the last week of October oh, doing right. a one-man I... fucking tour, headlining shows in Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. How about that? Last week of October. So if you're listening from Australia, good day, mate, to you. We have Jamie Vernon on the HD camera. Put your hands together for him. Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode. There he is, the house artist. All of his prints are available at ryanjebelt.com, and uh, including the movie poster that is the official Kill Tony merch. So find that all at ryanjebelt.com. You guys ready to get into tonight's show or what, you motherfuckers? Here we go. Bring up the guests first. Awesome. I will bring up the guests before we bring up the band. It seems like they are being delayed for some reason. Uh, So let's just do that. Every single week, we have two of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. We always surprise you with who they could possibly be. This week's no different. Put your hands together for two of my favorite human beings in the world, Doug Benson and Jerron Horton. (laughs) Fuck yeah. We are live. Hi, everybody. You guys are in it. What's up? Doug Benson's Periscope. I'm periscoping, you guys. 285. Yeah, 285 human beings in more. There. Where, do they, where should I tell them to go, Tony, so they can just watch it on the internet? DeathSquad.live. DeathSquad.live, fuckers. Yes, yeah. live streaming podcast. Shut them down. We are the number this one. This show is about who's here right now. Make some noise. Or, or watching right now. Have them come to Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. (laughs) Jerron, how are you? This is your first time on the show. Jerron, for you listeners that uh, don't know, uh, is uh, one of my favorite human beings, one of the funniest comedians that has come up through the ranks here at the store. And he's a writer and performing on the new Showtime show. Yeah, that's cool. Not only is he a writer for that, he's on it, you motherfucking bums. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, of course, the return <laughs> of the great Doug Benson, one of our hey favorite Kill Tony guests. everybody. Greatest human yeah. being. Taylor Rizzo's in the house. Are you in the bowl? Yeah. I'll recuse myself if you perform. I know that guy. Oh, yeah. I'm oh. not gonna, Taylor's always oh. fun. Yeah, I'm only here for the uh, people I haven't seen before. Uh, but real quick plug for me. Yeah. Uh, this Wednesday, August 31st, or a couple, two, three weeks ago, if you're watching this later or listening yeah. to it later... Uh, is the premiere of uh, my new... Whoa! I just hit a banana peel while sitting still. Uh, my new show, Pitch Off, on uh, Screen Junkies Plus. You got to go to Screen Junkies Plus. Three or four people know what that is. And uh, they're home of honest trailers and movie fights and lots of great shows. And uh, that's where you can go to see my new show, Pitch Off. 
Pitch Off. Pitch Off. Yeah. Well, there's it's a jingle right there with Doug Benson. <laughs> uh, so uh, is the band ready, Josh? Yes. No, you can't just <laughs> you can't just say that. You're gonna Where, throw I everything off. Already be out here. S- sound just like them. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, get ready, yes. Josh Martin is uh, opening up for Joe Rogan this yeah. weekend. In How awesome is that? that? At a what theater. Upgrade. Josh Martin doing theaters for the first time. What's this world coming to? <laughs> I love it. He's doing there might like be a flying pig in the bucket tonight, he, everybody. Next week he's doing like two thousand people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, Droopy Dog, is the, <laughs> is the band ready? Yes. I don't believe they are. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Josh, is the band ready? Going up. Oh, what? they are. They are. Yeah. They are yeah. ready. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, always with a brand new, interesting entrance every week, somewhat topical, always interesting. One of my favorite bands in the world. It's the Kill Tony band. Pat Reagan and Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop whoop! Yeah. Fuck yeah! Yeah! Wow! Oh it's, it's what up, Tony? What I, up? I would almost call this a posse, but uh, <laughs> there's only one of you. Well, Violin J, uh, he's sharpening his hatchet backstage. You know, he's about to be out here. You know, much clown love to all you Kill Tony fans. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's such an honor to have you uh, on the show. Normally, the entrance is somewhat topical. Uh, is the insane clown posse in the news or Yo, something? Yo, we always relevant, Tony. We always relevant. We stay relevant. Did, it, did they sell Fago and went, went with Diet Pepsi now, yeah. I said. <laughs> hey, we're on the West Coast. You know, we couldn't get the rights to Fago. Diet Pepsi, what up? Shout out. Now let's go back into it. Uh, put your hands together for the other half of the insane clown posse. Pat Reagan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. that is scary as fuck. <laughs> whoop whoop! I don't, I don't care for this at all. The insane clown posse with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> How's it so going, funny. man? Oh, good, man. Just living that juggalo life. <laughs> posse unplugged. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ex- I'm excited for this. You guys did some real makeup. Put your hands together for uh, Pat Reagan and Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Live. If you got to, if you want to do this on the regular, you should call yourselves Posse Riot. Uh, <laughs> there you go. And the party hey, has begun. The, <laughs> the party has begun. Doug just did a 12 minute into the show joke. Uh, <laughs> seven minutes into the show, we're getting the party started early. It's a little mouse going around here somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, let's just get into the show. You motherfuckers, ready or what? Yeah. Here's what happens ton of comedians signed up tonight for the chance to do 60 seconds uninterrupted of stand-up or anything in the world on the stage. And uh, afterwards, we talk to them about who they are as a human being and what else that happened during that set and what we know about them. Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. Very intimidating bear <laughs> tonight. Uh, a little bit sleepy, perhaps going into hibernation at some point. So, whoa, oh. there he is, woken up. Wow, that was real, yeah. was some real 40s comedy for you. We're a real avid Costello <laughs> up here. There you go. <laughs> Back to the safety mouse. Tony. All right. The safety mouse. <laughs> the safety West, mouse. Safety. West Hollywood. <laughs> when everything fails, hit the mouse button. <laughs> <laughs> West Hollywood Bear would be homophobic, but we are indeed in West Hollywood. <laughs> the safety mouse is actually really funny. <laughs> when everything goes bad, you just, yeah, the sound of, all right, okay. So you guys ready to start the show or what? <laughs> I got a bucket full of names. All right, okay. Someone's about to be All on right, stage okay. for 60 seconds continuously, uninterrupted. And they go by the name of Spencer Calendar. <laughs> Man. It has been hot in this city lately. And it harkens me back to a time like in December where it was actually cold here for two seconds. Colder than here than in New York City. So cold, in fact, 
there was this homeless veteran on the side of the freeway. Now, I don't normally support the troops, but I got a couple bucks out. But as I got closer to this guy, I saw he had a Santa hat on and a sign that said, Merry Christmas, God bless. Does this inconsiderate piece of shit not know it's happy holidays? We live in the most verbally progressive city in the world. You can't get on Twitter and find out what words are not trending. No wonder you have no legs, because you're careless. <laughs> you're careless with your words and with your actions. People think I'm gay. Just the other day, I was riding my bike. Sure, go ahead, Spencer. Finish that if you want. Riding my bike with my lady, mind you, and I fell. I hit my head. I already felt like an idiot, and I'm getting out of the road, and this truck drives around the corner, almost hits me, yells out the window, Get out of the road, you stupid lesbian. There, is that, is that it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Spencer Calendar. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you doing? I love that. You, want, you, 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 you have a certain like thing about you. Thanks. I can't figure out what it is. Where are you from? Long Beach. Long Beach. Long oh, Beach. That, now it's all starting to make sense. Yeah. Did you ever rent a place behind OJ's house? <laughs> <laughs> No, but he did host a show I was on here one time, which was bizarre. That guy, what's his name? Kato. Kato. Yeah, Kato Kayla. Kato. That's right. All right. All right. Spencer, uh, how long have you been on stand-up? One year and four months. Oh, wow. Spencer Calendar. Is that your real last name? It is, yeah. It's with oh. a K, if that makes a difference. Do you have anything you want to say about that? <laughs> Why? What happened? <laughs> I thought that was so funny what you said earlier. Uh, you whispered in my ear. Spencer Calendar is his name. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I w that was just for you, that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. When he got introduced, like when he got introduced, I just said to him, because it's so dumb, I was just like, oh, Spencer Calendar, he's funny all year round. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> See? There you go. That's what I... Right. But I had to... <laughs> once I was caught and you I setting Doug's me up, I had to negate it before I said it. <laughs> I like that, You always got to apologize I when you know it might not work. I just thought he was <laughs> the third member of that band. I didn't know that he was going to be like a whole other comic. You're on. Uh, what, shoot, what, for, shooting for what three. Band are we talking about? Just, what band? Yeah, what band? This band? I thought he was. Oh, 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 he forgot yeah. to put on the face, yeah, so he just threw on a wig. Spencer, I like your style, though. Do you always dress like that, or were you auditioning to be David Spade? No. <laughs> They're doing a Joe biopic? Dirt three. <laughs> Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Dirtiest. <laughs> Spencer, what do you do for work? I bartend. I take care of a guy with Alzheimer's. And wow, I do at the same time, that's awesome. Apartments. Uh, getting the party started. Yeah, getting, well. <laughs> getting people to forget their lives and getting other guys to remember. Yeah. Very good. You just keep saying that's all that gets a bartender bar. and an Alzheimer's? <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches aren't even it's listening. Crowd, Tony. You just want one yeah, dick joke is. after the other, <laughs> don't you? I can just tell this audience. We want Monday dick jokes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes so is it crowd. tough doing comedy without Wayne by your side? <laughs> Let me ask you this seriously, though. In, in all sincerity, we're not here to make fun of the comics. I just want to say, uh, how is how is the hair on top? Is it like a normal? Do you have weird hair? Yeah. He has good hair. So did you throw the hat on just because you didn't get a chance to wash your hair, or you really wear the hat a lot? He always wears that. Hat. Oh, well, the hat's worn a lot. Because the hat yeah. makes it look like two dog ears hanging out from under <laughs> your... Yeah. It looks like you're on Snapchat. <laughs> you really this, do. This yeah. seems too hillbilly, though, and then people think I'm a redneck if I do it behind my ear. So I've got hair yeah, to no, I'm just saying lose yeah. the hat. Lose it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying, because guys with a hat on, all you're doing in the audience, like this guy in the front row, he's like, everybody doesn't know I have a receding hairline. I'm uh, pulling it off. Whoa. Uh, really? No, see, you got uh, a full head of hair, too. Oh, look at that good. full head of hair. How Fucking dare don't you, Don't waste a hat on a full head of hair. <laughs> It's the That's lesson I'm trying. Oh, oh no. <laughs> a, a vehicle's crashing into the building. Let's evacuate. <laughs> hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Yeah. I, I got a magic trick. Oh, you do? It? Yeah, I Are think you're really going to like it. Okay, let's see it. Joel, can I get a drum roll, please? Wow! 
Jeremiah Watkins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know what just happened, but I, I think Pat teleported me from the goddamn comedy jam all the way over to Kill Tony. Wow. I'll take that trade any day. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The, the magic is wearing off. Oh, no. That means he probably heard what I said. Wow! Ta-da! <laughs> that was an amazing magic trick. Can you make it happen again and, <laughs> and just stay the other way? I'm <laughs> just kidding, Pat. I'm happy you. to be here, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's the greatest in the world. He's the band leader and the master of the universe. That was uh, really depressing, though. Like I thought Jeremiah was going to stay. Yeah, I thought they were both just. I thought you were both just going to come back. Ta-da! He could only he could only do a pop in, huh? Uh, Spencer. Wow. It's a miracle. Um, I love that. That's an amazing magic trick. One more time for Pat Reagan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that makeup is scary as hell. I'm not going to lie. Your makeup is truly scaring me tonight. Do you, I'm really, dude, there was, it was like, ah, whatever. Continue. Was there really a, ma- <laughs> did a magic trick just happen? Yeah. I got I to gotta stop looking at my phone. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't catch any magic tricks. I just, a guy came out and played the sax. <laughs> Spencer, uh, this guy you've been taking care of that has Alzheimer's. How long you been taking care of him? About a year now. <laughs> What's that like? What's the anything funny happen with that ever? No, usually it's just hindsight. Like he'll shit in my car sometimes, or just like he straight up just punch me in the face in bathrooms at Arby's. He, yeah, it's just like he used to be a fireman. He was like a man's man. Now he's just an angry Mexican dude who's only sixty-two, can't remember shit, and he just freaks out sometimes. Does oh, he ever wow. forget to pay you? No, no, I got his debit card. I'm good. <laughs> Are you stealing from him? <laughs> no. Would never. You, you're fucking up. Spencer. Uh, huh. Yeah. How he said for never sounded like he totally steals from that guy. Have you noticed? <laughs> did you notice that? It's like, never. I would never. So you never. do steal from him. Where are you a bartender at? Uh, in Long Beach. Wait, what, what's the it's called type? Red Table. Is that like a dive Red bar? Red Table. No, not a... It it's, r- it's, r- it's more Red upscale table. rich people, yeah. Yeah, it's communists. Yeah. And it's a lot of communists, yeah. Yeah, at the Red Table. Hmm. By, by the water, boat people, rich white boat people. Do you have any special fun hobbies or skills or talents or anything? Special fun hobbies. I can do you collect Zika mosquitoes? <laughs> 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 my I mom's know, it was kind of an My mom's sequitur, boyfriend did hell? die of West Nile virus, so what? that's close. It's close. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did wow. you visit Africa or something? No, Long Beach. Long yeah, Beach West mosquito. Oh. Long Beach will get you, man. Don't worry. Disease is confused. <laughs> we have West Nile in Georgia. Wow, that's gross. You yeah, know why so we don't have bring that down. anymore? How come, Doug? Because uh, East Nile and West Nile rumbled and East Nile <laughs> won. <laughs> Squash the beef, settled mm-hmm. it. Spencer, anything else interesting about you? Hey, Spencer, you get down with the Juggalos? You know I get down with the Juggalos. I see pee till I die, baby. Thank you. Fago, Juggalos. Man. Other interesting stuff, just do comedy all the time. See this guy at his home a lot at Marty's, so it was nice to see Jerron on stage. Yeah. You know? yeah. It it's was one interesting. My, it's one of my cronies. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Spencer, uh, what's your love life like? I'm married. Really? Yeah. Oh, How come so you're not wearing, wearing the ring? ring? Yeah. I told her I don't want to wear a ring. I don't like jewelry. Whoa. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> but I noticed you have a... Uh, I'm going to use that line. Well, maybe you could just call it a wedding hat. Wedding hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happened a week ago in Seattle. I did a comedy show, then got hitched, and that was it. Here I am. Whoa, a week it's ago? fresh. A week ago? Oh, it's fresh. How long did you know this girl for? Five years and change. Wow. Yeah. Did you get to have a batch party? No batch party. The wedding was just four of us, and it was on a dock. I didn't let any family or people come. I guess my bas- best man really fucking pussed out on the batch party, though. Well, let's have uh, one right now. Do you have you ever wanted to be blown it. by a clown? <laughs> 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 two, ju- yeah, two actually. Let, a drunk. Let me ask you this: uh, When you got married, did you uh, obviously you probably didn't wear a hat, right? No. Did hat. you go ponytail? I only rock the ponytail at work. I don't. I don't. I don't ever do the ponytail in the real world. But I noticed that that's not a bracelet. That's actually a hair tie around your hair wrist. hair tie. Yeah. Correct. Yes. So for some, work. Sometimes you go into it at 
random times. You never know. Like I built a shed. You know, I built a shed earlier. I had to pop a PT in. You never know. You said good to be prepared. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Hey, you deal. said work isn't the real world. What's reality to you? Work isn't the oh reality. Yeah, I suppose staring you at you I, on I the belly ponytail. room stage with ICP I makeup. I, you on. said I wear a ponytail, and then you were like, only at work, not in the real world. And I would like to know what reality is. In this, your eyes. this, the belly room staring just at you this? wearing clown makeup. Yeah, yeah. I usually just I go to work. This I is stare realer at you than real. This is whoop, as whoop. real as it gets, dude. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We were both being fake right there in that moment. <laughs> yeah, it was very bizarre. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the transparency, though. Yeah, it's not there with most of the posse. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, they're so private. <laughs> Spencer, what do you normally do like uh, during the day if you're not working? Do you work at the bar during the day? No, I work at night. Yeah. But I get off early enough where I can still do comedy. During the day, I really just write comedy. I just moved, so I'm building. I built a shed. Wow, this oh, shed keeps rapes. coming. This shed, shed is new. Yeah, I like this shed. Well, what are you going to do in the thing? shed? Uh, he has a woman in there who had, he had a child with, and he keeps her there. Yeah, yeah. And she's he not married her. She's like not I keep all leave. my hats there. Spencer. Remember that movie, Room? Oh, it's a good movie. I just wait it's hopelessly for a comedy to start so I can go to Marty's, see Jerron. I like that. Spencer, yeah. you have a good look, but you seem kind of boring. Boring, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you you sure. sort of, you, I, w- I wish you'd like let it rip. Yeah. What's the craziest thing about you? My The craziest thing about me? That's a bizarre. Yeah, what's some insane shit you've done? <laughs> yeah. Creepiest thing you've Googled lately. Creepiest thing I Googled? <laughs> Probably... <laughs> Probably the R. Kelly sex tape. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Wow, yeah. the one with the pee? That, I couldn't bring myself to watch it, but I heard someone say that he came, peed on her, and came again. Yeah, so she, it was she's also underage. Yeah. So you're looking at underage porn or searching for underage porn. How, just far, so you know that. Uh, how, far, how far into the tape <laughs> did you why. make it? No, I didn't make it any, uh, zero seconds into it. I'm oh. working on R. Kelly bit that I'm working out, so I went deep into the research. But yeah. research. Oh. You know, yeah, you, call, you just call research. it research, right? Well, it's funny. Child, child it, it, you research. walked right into it. Uh, to Catch a Predator figured out that a lot of uh, open micers are probably up to something, and, uh, and so we, we, we're under arrest. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> All right, Spencer. It was nice to meet That's you. That's a wrap. Good Thank job, you. Spencer. He's on Twitter at Robot Spencer. Let's just keep it moving. Let's keep hey, it real flying quick, though. Through. Real quick, though. What do you got to go to to watch this live streaming? Death Squad.live. Death Squad. Dot live. All right, because yeah. Peanut from 311 wants to know. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. I'm hooking him up. We love Peanut from I 311. I told him to comment if he has anything to say about this, what's happening. I pulled the name out of the bucket, and that name is Gary Curtis. <laughs> It's a black guy. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Speaking of dicks, who's ready for this election to be over? Just me? I feel like this election has been like one weird, long, but good episode of Scooby Doo. Because, I mean, this is why I say it's good. Usually you get to the end of the episode and they take the mask off the bad guy. And he looks just like Bernie Sanders. But Bernie's been a mask the whole time, right? We've seen it. We know he's the good guy. Obviously, the bad guy's the orange creature with the bad wig that's been running around. So now I'm just waiting to get to the end of the episode, election, and they take the mask off of Donald Trump, and we realize, like, it's been George Bush the whole time. And then he says something like, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those darn Mexican kids. (laughs) Ah, Not a lot of Scooby-Doo fans, huh? Hillary is obviously the Thelma of the situation. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck about her in the beginning, but now everybody else you wanted to root for is caught up in some bullshit. You don't want everybody to die, so you're like, I guess I'm with her. <laughs> fuck yeah, Gary Curtis. Senior Daily Show correspondent, <laughs> Gary Curtis. What's a great idea for the Clinton campaign? Hashtag, I guess I'm with her. <laughs> I think is it would work, you know, because it's like, yeah, well, what are you going to do? Can't be with the uh, orange head, whatever you said. <laughs> yeah, you hate Donald Trump. I follow you on Twitter, Doug, and you have a lot of. Uh, I b- I don't want him to be president. Uh, you know, I'm 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 all right with him that he exists, but uh, <laughs> he's not who I would go to for 
president. Were you more of a Bernie person before? Uh, I like Bernie a lot, but you know, I also liked that Bernie jammed all of his uh, agenda into uh, the uh, Clinton platform. So, uh, and he's still gonna be standing around saying what he thinks. I just think everybody needs to step up and you know really hold politicians accountable, including the media that Donald keeps blaming for uh, all of his. You know, he's he's only as successful as he is because of the media, and he's complaining about them <laughs> and saying that they're biased. Yeah, it's really biased how they cut to you every time you, <laughs> you know, take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. There you go, Doug Benson. Uh, giving you what you need to know going into this year's election. We all vote with Doug Benson. Wait a second. There's an election this year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Gary, we got your uh, political views. Um I'd yeah. like to uh, I'd like to thank you because you're one of the first people to ever uh, stand up from doing the oh you're on you're still there oh yeah. okay you're not I thought you were the same person for a second <laughs> I thought you that just got up and started doing really stand up. No, he's I don't get that part at all. Like I see like this motherfucker at every audition I go to so you guys really? are all, really? you guys are all yeah. going for uh, yeah. Jaden Smith <laughs> 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 all right uh, Gary uh, what do you do for work I work at Tom's. Ah, the shoe place. Yeah, that's remember right. We, we, yeah, we did this last this. week. Yeah, last week. It was yeah. Oh, last week. A mere yeah. seven days like ago. An occupation line on the. Let's shake issues. up the bucket last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different bucket. Uh, fuck yeah, Gary. Anything changed <laughs> since last week? I don't remember anything about you. <laughs> What'd you do in the last week? Last week. How many times you jerk <laughs> it? Whoa. You, got a, you got a lineup. You got a lineup. Oh no, I need a haircut. I'm going home for my sister's wedding this week. Oh, She's you are. marrying a lady. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Where, where's, the, where's that hometown at? Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Fuck yeah. As if Jersey didn't smell fishy enough. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lesbian wedding in New Jersey. Which one's yeah. calling themselves the groom? I'm sure it's my sister. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been held down by somebody or something. Yeah, I love that. So, you want know, to wrestle <laughs> so, with her? She's strong. Yeah, she's very strong. Okay. This is really, uh, this is really compelling because uh, you know that is an interesting thing, I guess, about you, right? Uh, so, what do you think? <laughs> do you think that there was something that you know, sort of like in your household or something that sort of made her that way, or was she always that way? Was she like basketball? A better <laughs> basketball? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I heard basketball makes a lot of ladies gay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I actually have like yeah. those college. I women fucking teams. love basketball. If I'm hooked on a drug, it's basketball. <laughs> fucking fucking love fucking basketball. It's fucking basketball. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Junk box <laughs> over there. Yeah. Um, I hope that happens every time somebody <laughs> says basketball. <laughs> you, not you, that time. You just said no, it again. Yeah, not that time. <laughs> so, uh, Gary, um, tell us more about your sister. Anything else? Uh, have, you, have you met her girlfriend? Oh, yeah. She's Do been, you get, like, they were on the same basketball team together uh, in college. Uh, I uh, fucking love oh. basketball. If I'm hooked on a drug, it's basketball. I'm kissing and I'm hugging fucking basketball. It's fucking basketball. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Request revoked because it's going to come up again. <laughs> uh, Can you beat her in one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Seriously, what would you think of the uh, USA team uh, playing the basketball over there? <laughs> I think it's like every other one or something like that. Oh no! Well, just let's just not say it anymore. Gary, uh, so your sister, how, did you notice anything uh, when she was young about like when when did you first know she was a lesbian? Did she tell you or did you have an idea first? Started with high school. Was your mom yeah. the basketball coach? I fucking love basketball. If I'm hooked on a drug, it's basketball. I fucking love this sport. It's called basketball. It's fucking basketball. Hashtag hate tweets coming my way. Uh, <laughs> did, you, did you ever hear her scissoring? <laughs> nah. Nah. Never? Nah. Crazy thing. When she first brought the girl she's about to marry around, I definitely thought she was trying to fuck me. Right. I was definitely trying to fuck. Well, she probably was. She probably was. Has she ever tried to wow. take your girl? Nah. Why was your set so clean and now you're talking about oh fucking new one? Because I do that. That's what I've done that every other time. Oh, hey, my you sister changed it up. I tried to switch it up. Yeah. Okay. Switch tonight was something. clean political humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what everybody's that's... dying to hear right <laughs> yeah. now. There's the sides aren't uh, going at each other very hard, so it's a perfect time for just keep it sweet. <laughs> you gotta 
George Bush dig in there. I always like that. I don't think he comes up enough. <laughs> 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 it wasn't even a W either. You went for George Bush. You said George Bush. That's senior, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, that's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Dan wow. Quayle. He, yeah. wants, he wants the audience to remember shit that happened more than uh, how long ago was that? <laughs> I mean, that was, geez, eight years ago. But you got the stage presence thing down, right? Oh, wait, right? No, that was more than that. <laughs> right? He's smooth, right? Yeah, he totally. He stumble around or act nervous. No, he's got that. Yeah. You're also working on temporary material that, you know, yeah. in like six months, you're just going to throw it away. Why even bother sometimes? You no, know? His, right. sister, his sister's going to be gay forever. <laughs> right. Why bother? It's going to hurt me. It's going to kill when you desert me. There's definitely a b- reason to bother. <laughs> There you go. There's definitely reason to bother, but uh, how many words or phrases are going to get us into that hell? <laughs> how many do you have ready to go? Because also, does the drummer just go along with it, or yeah. does he know? <laughs> 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 All right. Oh shit. Do you have Do you have a song about turkey sausage? All no, right. Gary. Uh, anything else interesting happened since <laughs> the last week you were on? <laughs> Actually, I got it. Somebody came up to me that was at the show last week, and I have a a meeting with uh, people from a production company after there. what they saw on the show last from week. From this so. show. So, yeah. Boom. There you go. There, then you there go. you go. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah. let you go, Gary. There you go. It's Gary Curtis, everybody. G Kurt CSB on Twitter. Great job, dude. Good job. I heard that on Walking Dead, they were going to do a flashback to the uh, preacher when he was younger, and I think he'd be perfect. I hope it works out. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I love it. <laughs> you don't watch Walking Dead? I don't. Well, that guy looks like the guy. Oh, shit. Which guy? <laughs> I stopped watching season five. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Heather Maruli, everybody. <laughs> My ex recently texted me a screenshot of his uh, credit score. Just to remind me that he's human trash, just a terrible person. Um, I always knew he was bad because his name is a verb. His name is Sway, which isn't a real name. Um, but I, <laughs> I was uh, suspicious of him for a while because he, well, he sent a, a, a text with with the credit score that said numbers don't lie, Miha, and I was like, well, that's interesting because uh, you lied about your age when we first started going out. And uh, I found out he was actually 35. He said he was 28. Uh, But I was suspicious that he was older because he had his old concert tickets on the wall. And one of the concert tickets he had was uh, to Radiohead at the Hollywood Bowl in 2001. And I was like, oh, so you appreciated Radiohead when you were 14? Like, this doesn't make sense. Um, So (laughs) when I was suspicious he was older, I texted him. I was like, how old are you really? And he texted me back. He goes, how old do you think I am from the way that I sex you up? And um, <laughs> I said between 55 and 75 years old. Fuck yeah, Heather Maruli. <laughs> Sorry. I was kind of caught off guard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a guess here. I'm just, I'm just shooting for the hip. I'm guessing oh, that yeah. you live in the Los Feliz Silver Lake area. No. Am I, am I correct? Uh, no, I wish. You have oh the my balls God. to pull off a Radiohead reference <laughs> <No>. like that. <laughs> right? I but wish I lived, in, I lived in a terrible a neighborhood. Radio, you mean Tony. the hugely popular band Radiohead? Oh, oh there he is. Uh, our Silver Lake oh. senior correspondent, <laughs> Pat Reagan. <laughs> Super right. hipster. Look at him over there. He's like, I'm a creep. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> happy to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Um, was your boyfriend Mexican? It's radio. Yes, head. I. Yeah, radio uh, why, yeah. Was he, why was he texting his credit score then? Because he thinks was it's it a impressive. good score or a bad score? It's good. It's like a seven ninety five. Oh, so that makes him a dick. He's got a great score. <laughs> No, just that he has just to talk about it. it. Yes. Okay. He likes to talk about it because I have student loans. So uh, I felt like uh, you're this is a little late, but <laughs> I, I, I'm a <laughs> creep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Very it. Late. Did you realize that right now that we, late. that's what we were doing when we said that? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I just took a shot at you like you I fucking did, freak. man. I had a feeling, <laughs> and I freak. almost went back to it oh. and was going to say. I mean, I sort of did say, but yeah, they started talking. That's amazing. I had a feeling. I should have <laughs> just said it. <laughs> that you realized we were doing a radio hit yeah. joke. That took like 37 yeah. seconds. If you'd have gone right into That's it when I said it, it would have brought the house down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway. but the way you did it was still fun. So Heather, Heather. Oh, hold on, Doug. <laughs> Jesus. I got a question. I don't want to forget it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, it's just, uh, 
Tony, jump right in. Yeah, and this is good to have jump the right creep when... underneath it. Um, uh, it felt more like a you were just listing off a bunch of facts about oh, no, about no. things in your life yeah. without punchlines. Go, Tony. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so let's get back no, to it. Fine. That's, no, that's fair. Usually it, it, it's a much tighter joke, but I was kind of caught off guard when I... Got so this so guy tired. sends you his credit <laughs> score, and do you believe it? I mean, he lied about his age. Um, No, I believe it. He's really cheap and, like, tight with money. What so. does he do for work? He's a sound mixer. How long have you been dating this guy? Oh, we broke up, but two years we dated. Oh. Yeah. How long have you guys been broken up for? Um, Like eight months. Eight months. We still do it. So. He's a sound mixer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> still, still fucking? Yeah. Still getting Sometimes. In the Wait, what? <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> He's a sound what? Sound mixer. Wow. Like on movies and stuff. Like he, <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I bet he <laughs> is. He stays in the mix with you. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brian, do you have a boner sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Because he's I was implying that he just had a boner and it made that noise. <laughs> um, well, that's cool. Has he ever shown you any of his work? Has he made anything cool? Mm, well, he does a lot of the sound mixing for uh, like the Red Bull video game tournaments. Is he doing anything <laughs> cool, he asked you? No, I... <laughs> No, I, like, honestly, no, like, he worked on the Florence Henderson show on VH1. I don't know. He has an IMDb that's full of There's stuff. There's a Florence like Henderson show real. on VH1? <laughs> there used wow. to be. I can't believe oh. I'm not watching VH1. <laughs> Immediately, it was everybody from years can Google ago. who this guy is, by the way. I'm no, sure Florence they can't. Henderson no, 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 they can't. Sound mixers. Well, it doesn't matter if they could. Of course. <laughs> They're not going to. I mean, what I are they, they going to say? Hey, listen to the girl you're fucking on a podcast. <laughs> um... So did, Heather, did somebody yeah. from the twenties just walk in. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it's me, your common Twitter troll. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I sound like. <laughs> Heather, yeah. Uh, have you been dating guys uh, <laughs> since then? How's the last eight months been? Oh, um. Are you no, there's a no, buggy coming down the street. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't Come been on, out Heather, there. Talk, talk to us more. We're I haven't been out there. I've been sending some messages on Bumble, but I'm not into it. Like uh. it, it takes. It's too much time. Uh, Bumble is I the one Bumble. where what the guy people want to fuck. It's only you. people who want to fucking yeah. honey. No women. Women. Yeah. You have to wait for the. It's chick a to honey respond based. To you. All right. The girl has to send a message first. It's okay. a Manuaka honey based dating <laughs> app. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, you get a lot of a uh, lot of action off Bumble. Um. Well, no. I just I usually just send messages and see like if the guy's dumb or not. And right. That's usually one of my. Is anyone ever like you look like a BBW share? No. <laughs> 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 no. But thank you. I'll take that's a compliment. I'll take that as a compliment. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm I fine like with that. that. <laughs> Gene Wilder, rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Just want to throw that in there. <laughs> Better right. I love that you did it right now. Uh, perfect timing for that. Uh, you know, uh, something reminded me of it. Fuck yeah. This guy getting up and leaving reminded me of it. <laughs> I was like, that guy looks like he wants to get up and leave. Gene Wilder, rest in peace. <laughs> Heather, what do you do for work? Uh, I am a paralegal at a law firm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's your living situation? Uh, I live in a horrible neighborhood um, south of USC. Yeah. Whoa. But I live alone. I get to look for eight hundred dollars. So. Wow, that's <laughs> not that off. cheap. For to live alone, and I think so. I know people who are living on virtually nothing. I know a guy okay. that just <laughs> built a fucking <laughs> ship. I don't know what in, that means. <laughs> I know people who live through clowning. <laughs> What else, Heather? <laughs> what else? I don't know. I mean, there's not really much else to... What do you want to know? I don't know. <laughs> Tony! <laughs> anything crazy happen in your life or anything lately? Uh, lately? People oh are just, like, really God. not giving it up tonight. I don't know if anything crazy's happened. Okay, Heather. I don't well, there you so. go. Heather Maruli, everybody. <laughs> there she goes. Thanks. We're going to fly through them tonight, baby. She's on Twitter at Fixed Air Heather. What's going to happen next? Yeah, if we call your name, you better have a crazy story <laughs> ready. Or There you go. Thank you, Doug. Just let them Get be, it ready let, in let, your let, heads. Let, let them be boring. 
Uh, put your hands together for Chris Wilmoth, everybody. White people got to stop stealing all the tragedy hashtags and, like, putting our own spin on them just because we're bored. You see the, the hashtag all lives matter. It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I work in a cell phone store. I deal with lives that don't matter constantly <laughs> all day long. They're usually white lives because I'm not a racist. The other day, this white lady came in. She's buying her 12-year-old daughter an iPhone. During the transaction, the daughter calls the mom a cunt. Yeah. And she continued to buy the little cunt an iPhone. (laughs) Nobody involved in that story's life matters, including the piece of shit that sold him the phone. I'm circumcised. (laughs) I think it's weird that we still do that. Just a completely elective cosmetic dick surgery that almost every guy gets and no one's ever consented to. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I mean, there there's it is. more of the Wilma. Was there more to that? Was that yeah, the end of it? Yeah, but I mean that you have a point there. There's no real punchline there. No, what I there's I, just, I like your I style have though. You have seconds. accidentally really good timing. How long have you been on stand up? Since March. Was Since the first March. Time I got Fuck on stage. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Fairly new. Wow, Pretty answer for Chris Wilma. Good. good. March? March? Twelve months. I love it. Doug knows <laughs> I know my months. <laughs> Doug knows Doug knows math. I know how time works. <laughs> what do you do? Um, what do you do for work, Chris? I work in a cell phone store. Oh, oh yeah. that's where that yeah. material yeah. came from. Yeah. Have you been on this show before? <laughs> no, I haven't. Wow, a supplement yeah. store. No, no a cell phone store. store. Oh, a cell phone store. store. Yeah. 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 You yeah. got yeah. lost in his arms. <laughs> yeah, you got no. lost in his forearms. <laughs> sounded like supplement yeah. store. Tony, no. to hear some of your supplement <laughs> humor. <laughs> that's why I repeated it back in question form. A supplement store? Because I didn't quite hear. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Which Self- one? I didn't think it's cell phone stores are existed. On, are you on he just talked about cell no, phones. I don't, and I don't take any supplements. What not? Adderall. I guess. As, like, I, I take succulent Adderall. store? Like you sell <laughs> succulents? Like the plant? How did that story <laughs> end in the <laughs> cell phone. phone store? You were a customer, or someone else was a customer? No, that. <laughs> was there a cunt involved? The cunt, yeah, there was. <laughs> there was a cunt involved. There was a twelve-year-old girl store? cunt. Oh yeah, involved. but why were you in there? You're just a I work there. Is that where you, you were? Is that where you, were you st- said you work there? Did I do th- work there. Did you say it in the joke, or did you say that you were at a cell phone store? No, I said I work at a cell phone store. Okay. Okay. I deal what, with lives that don't matter. What the fuck is a cell phone store? Like, by the way. It's, it's just a Verizon. It's in store. every mall, right You're, next so to the supplement like, store. Say, <laughs> so you work for Verizon. Verizon. Say Verizon. Yeah. Okay. Is is, it, is that the answer? Yeah, I work at Verizon. So you're a Verizon guy. Yeah, like I sell can people now? bullshit phones. <laughs> yeah, can you hear me now? <laughs> there you go. Jerron maybe, said maybe that. Maybe that's why I couldn't understand you. <laughs> sure. Are you excited if, but to if go you to all work? Say it at the same Okay. <laughs> Are you excited to go to work? Do you make every day Shows. an event horizon? Verizon? <laughs> Fuck, I fucked that up. <laughs> right. But thank yes, you. I've always wanted <laughs> clown rim shots. You're welcome. <laughs> the scariest thing to me would be a clown rim job. Chris, Nobody? <laughs> Everybody here wants that? We're going to do a segment that we debuted a few weeks ago on Chris. He's been doing stand-up since March. We are going to do an in-depth thing. Oh, shit. This is the return of the brand new segment, Who Are You? Who are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Congratulations, Chris. All you right. have been selected to be the new Who Are You person on the show. What does that mean? We're going to find out some shit about you, Chris. Awesome. Are you ready to enter the honesty chamber? Yes. Oh, no. 100%. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready? Yes, let's do it. Okay, Chris. Here we go. Uh, anything interesting about your childhood? <laughs> Who are uh, you seems a lot like the rest of the show. Yeah, that's what's like the normal show. <laughs> no, Thank no, you, no. Uh, we're going to go deeper. Yep. Who touched you? <laughs> Who I, I wasn't. I, w- I didn't get touched. Who have you touched? Who, who, who have I touched? I've touched I all really these people. Wanna... Yeah, who have you with moved? With my comedy. Who have you moved? All of these people. Well, that's that's. <laughs> What's not your true? middle name? Mark. All right. All right. 
Yeah. <laughs> Chris. What happened to that bit? <laughs> you, I thought Doug, you had you're some just you're, you're on fire tonight. I thought yeah, you had I some thought questions. I had prepared. Is, is this like a new bit segment? slowly being aborted? <laughs> what do you do for work, Chris? So we're gonna store. supplement store. Wait, wait! You do I that whole. Who are you? Sell steroids. That the same the question worst. you ask every time, and you already asked him. It's the worst. The worst. <laughs> are you ready to enter back in, Chris? Yes. Get into it, D- uh, Doug. I'm off. You do it. <laughs> Chris, where are you from? Pennsylvania, Erie, Erie, Pennsylvania. Can you, can you get more descriptive than this? Just the, na- mom's, the mom's name of the state. Erie, Your Pennsylvania, Little Detroit. They call it. Uh, it's right on Lake Erie. What do your parents do for work? My mom teaches autistic kids, and <laughs> Josh Meyerowitz at Autistic <laughs> Thunder in the house. My dad it is like an apartment inspector. I don't know, like huh? An apartment inspector. Make inspected. sure they're up to code. Wow. I guess. Yeah. And what do you do? What do you? What, what did you do before moving to LA? Were you I was a uh, dispatching dispatching snowplows. Uh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. What laws have you broken? What laws have you broken? Good question. I mean, I'm not. I'm not I don't even think I'm legally like allowed to be a resident in my apartment. So like, I feel like I'm constantly breaking laws at all times. Why are you not allowed to legally be a resident in your I'm apartment? not on the lease or anything like that. This segment is called Who the Fuck Are You? We're finding Go out. Go deep! One of the most hu- boring human beings of all time. Who do, who's your Well, idol? I guess the naughtiest Bill lie Burr. I ever broke was uh, sleeping at my apartment at night. I'm not on the lease, it turns That's out. I'm that kind of roommate. On Halloween, I reached into the bowl and took two mini fun bars. <laughs> The subletter. <laughs> I s- I'm, I'm w- what you would call the guy that sleeps in the other bedroom. <laughs> That's me. Chris, last date you went on, how, what was that like? I was actually g Easy's baby mom, according to her. I don't know. Who's g Easy? It's it's like, he's like it's a, a rapper. rapper. Yeah, white rapper. And oh, she geez. has a child. <laughs> oh. She has a child by it him. Almost, it had like interesting <laughs> beats to it, but it was just sadder more than anything else. <laughs> so some uh, white rapper. You had sex with. with I didn't have sex with her. It's just, it just uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to. You tried. Like, were you a good father to the child? No, not at all. I didn't even meet the child. To be your oh. baby mama, don't you have to fuck and then he. The rap baby? white rapper is the father yeah. of this woman's child. Oh, so you just You're the stepdad. I'm the, what I was the stepdad for like a day. You taking care of this child? Yeah. Like buying it for Basically, formula? yeah. Yeah. Hey, I did that shit for a year. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just getting sadder and sadder. Uh, so, so so Chris. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you date this girl for? I went on one date with her. That was, oh. You just said what was the last date. Well, what was that like? Was, did you get her in bed? Was she? Uh, was she G Easy? She was not. She was, so we, what we, happened? W T fuck are Chris, you, Chris? Dude, can you, Chris, wait. can you describe anything that happened? We went to tacos and then you went to tacos. We went to taco. We put in mouthy. It was five dollars. <laughs> two, two, two. <laughs> Into stomach, then we poop. No sex. So much fun at taco. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Keep going. Tell us more. It's a very uneventful story. It's like the chick before me. With nothing, I'm sorry. (laughs) All right, there he goes, Chris Wilmot, everybody. (laughs) He's on Twitter at the real Brock. Brock, B R O C H. Brooch. There you go. You got a slogan. I real nothing. The real Brooch. We're just flying through him tonight. This is an interesting uh, rapid fire episode (laughs) of uh, Kill Tony. I know this guy. He's been doing stand up uh, for years with uh, with all of us. Put your hands together for Damar Randy, ladies and gentlemen. Damar. Ah, that's just sad. Again, is that Damar? Again. 
Oh, what? no DeMar. Basketball. The, I fucking love All right, basketball. I pulled another name out of the bucket. On the drug, it's basketball. Basketball, basketball. <laughs> yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Bring your hands together for Dicey. I fucking love basketball. If I'm hooked on a drug, it's basketball. I fucking love motherfucking basketball. It's a basketball. Hey. Okay, I hate to bring the mood down. I know this is a comedy show, but I have some statistics regarding white people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, 80% of white people can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. When did that number get so high? I don't. <laughs> I still want to come back as a white woman in my next life, though. I do. I'm only going to fuck black men still. <laughs> I want to come back as a white woman so I can say shit like, do you know what I mean? If, if I'm here if you need to talk. <laughs> I want to come back and say shit like that. They have fun, white women. They do. Um, <laughs> There should be more diversity in the world, you know, especially in the tanning industry. There's no black girls that have ever facilitated a tan. When's the last time you saw a black bitch give a tan? <laughs> and who better to warn you of the effects this dark ass skin is gonna have of you than a black bitch? Fuck yeah, Brian went with an extra loud beast roar. Sorry, I didn't hear the cat. I didn't hear the cat. I think he's part of the 80% of white guys that you don't like. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I like how on her opening the like uh, eighty percent of white dudes the whitest person in the room knocked his drum kit over <laughs> as Joel's, soon as he heard it. He's, he's, he's Mexican. 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 He's Mexican. But you can't tell with the face. When they're ex does, but you're extra, you're white socks, tonight. Though. You're like socks. you're overboard white right now. All right, it's dicey. Uh, what has happened recently that makes you hate white people so much? Let's just get into it. You can say anything here. Well, it's just that I've been black my whole life and. <laughs> No, but what lately? <laughs> I mean, that is lately. That's shit. Um, I mean, you know, they just ignore me. They like, they'll see me walking. Like, white people, this is what they do. When they see you walking into a building, they, they don't know you're black. You know, they just feel a body behind them. But then when they turn around and see that you're black, they just let the door close in your face. Like, shit like oh, that. No way. Where the fuck does I this swear, happen at? Where everywhere. does this happen? No, no, no. 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 I, I don't do that to black people. I do this. that to bitches. <laughs> Are you... Jesus, <laughs> Doug. Are, are you... I thought Somebody that would be just such joined an obvious the 80%. joke. I thought that joke would be so obvious. Wow. Are, are you following this person into their apartment late at night? Maybe. No, 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 no. Why All would right. that? Why <laughs> would that work lying, better though. than mine? Hey, white people, will, y'all will let the door hit us in the face. Y'all know that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's just true. And he's half. Where, where, where does that, that happen? True. At? Where's, where's the last place physically? Marty's. Where, Marty's, <laughs> where you live. Yeah. Okay. There you go for the seven open micers that know what that is. <laughs> I love it. They well, fucking up three of them motherfuckers. Dicey, where where do where do people let the door hit you in the face at? Where are I you mean, when that's at, happening? At the mall, at the grocery what mall? store, and everywhere. what mall doesn't the... have sliding doors yeah, anymore? Are you going? Are you, is there some security guard there that just hits the pause button when you walk by? <laughs> oh, you're gonna need to wait a second, lady. You know, going in. What kind of mall still has <laughs> swinging doors? What kind of fucking peasant mall are you going to, Dicey? And, right. and, and why would why, be at the what kind of okay, white it's people? The goodwill, it's the goodwill. That's uh, all I even better afford. question: What kind of white people are going to this mall? <laughs> the Beverly Center That's is hilarious under construction. To me. Beverly, Beverly Center, Center doesn't even it's, have doors. It just has escalators. You just walk in. You don't even. There's not even a door at any point. Have, have you, you ever? Fun fact: we, we don't use doors anymore. Have you ever dated a white person before? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I have. I've let a lot of white men buy me dinner and stuff, but oh, then I, I feel like they want to play out their slave fantasies on me, and I'm like, no, you're not gonna play out your slave fantasies. Brian, why, 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 why is that still happening? Why is that even a choice? That? Why is that an option? Why do you? Da- what did you download that for? <laughs> <laughs> for every single week, anytime a black person's on lately, oh. even though I specifically tell him to. You know, and less is more, but <laughs> I no, guess more is more every single Monday no, with Brian. None Redback. of that is more. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's like she, 
her set mm-hmm. was very backwards racist. Of course. I guess. So, so that's what we're trying to. Oh, that's what we're trying to talk oh, about in depth you know. without the music interrupting every single. Hey Dicey, part. where are you from? I'm from Texas. Yeah. Wow, that is interesting. Mm-hmm. What part? Dallas. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. There's no reason to people? ask her to leave. Tony. That's why she hates my first lady. They, yeah. um, my first girlfriend was from Plano. She was black. Oh yeah, you like black girls, huh, Pat? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dicey, you said that uh, you said that a lot of white guys have gotten to take you to dinner. Where does it normally where does it normally go wrong? When you say play out their slave fantasies, like have you had sex with a white man? Before? No, I, I've never had sex with a white man. What's the closest you've come? Um, <laughs> she has it. <laughs> I mean, like how a, many inches from it were you? <laughs> <laughs> no, how many inches was he from it? That was uh, that's, that's probably question. the problem, right? Right. Yeah, you need some action. What's the closest that you came <laughs> to uh, hooking up with a white guy? Um, I think I kissed one on the cheek. Whoa! Wow! wow. That's the closest. That's like uh, it's like uh, tripping over home on your way to first. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, the was old <laughs> the old kiss on the cheek. That's was it the Santa? Farthest? Huh? Was it Santa? <laughs> <laughs> that's Joel. Joel Jimenez wrote that was one. <laughs> We know that she loves to go to the time. mall, so it very easily could have been. Uh, so, wow. <laughs> Just a kiss yeah. on the cheek. That's it. What? Uh, why do you it think that is? It was just always is? weird. It was weird, you know? like Why? Because they were white. What's the... <laughs> well, but what's different between a date with a white guy and a date with a black guy for you? Well, um... Other than the actual color of the skin. I mean, the conversation is just totally different. White people talk about stuff like the... They have time to think about, like, zombie apocalypses and shit like that. (laughs) You know? (laughs) I knew we were getting somewhere. (laughs) I knew I was getting somewhere. Yeah. That's why I asked these fucking questions. And what do black people talk about on these dates? If white people talk about zombie apocalypses... Oh, we talk about getting shot and staying alive. Oh, that's a bunch of baloney. (laughs) No way. And not not having sex with white people. (laughs) You're so funny. Getting shot. I haven't dated in a long time because I'm I sure have been getting getting shot a lot lately. How about you? (laughs) This is one of the best first dates I've ever been on, black person. (laughs) Sure been getting shot a lot. Fuck yeah, I'm about to shoot you right now. Let's do it. That's my impression of a black guy for some reason. Uh, white surfer voice. I liked when she did the uh, totally. white white voice. I like that. Yeah, that, that was, was cute. Good. The white girl uh, thing? Yeah, you. white girl thing. Thanks. Uh, I thought of, uh, it sounded like Stacey Dash. Oh. <laughs> Who's not white, but does a white girl no, voice. No, she is. She should be. She is white. Yeah. <laughs> She's honorary. She exactly. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the whitest thing about you? The whitest thing about me <laughs> Finally. is probably like the white man who raped my great 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 grandmother so oh I can have Oh my this. god. Both <laughs> Wow. I wonder I wonder that? I wonder how many I wonder how many generations like it's gonna take before like maybe like that starts to dissipate a little bit, you know what I mean? No, I eat kale. That's <laughs> <laughs> But I mean no, I mean like Literally, like, I wonder, like, how many thousands of years do you think until people, like, you know, because there's been so many cultures that have had slavery and everything. Yeah, but you can't, like, just forget rape. Right, and also... Yeah. Wait, what? what <laughs> Unless I you're to? one of Bill uh, Cosby's ladies. Which ra- <laughs> which but I was going to say, you know, in Germany, they, uh, the s- students, the kids, they study the Holocaust. They have a moment each day where they remember the Holocaust. Like I think remembering this stuff and and accepting it and moving on from it is uh, <laughs> is important. So I don't I don't think we should sit around that going let's yeah, stop thinking about slavery. Let's think about it more. <laughs> oh if my God! Is what I'm saying. If Doug, Doug, this is like a, if I know you were joking around. I know with you Doug were joking is like around. Literally one of the most depressing subjects ever. Yeah, no, that was horrible. <laughs> I think I we should. Th- everybody's think, really down now. I think we should think about <laughs> should think about slavery. If, if Armenians, I didn't say we shouldn't a, think about right, slavery. Hey, Dave, Dicey, I'll, fuck it. You said so when's he, it going to stop coming it. up? When are we going to stop talking about it? Never. We should never stop talking about it. I didn't say when are we going to stop talking about it. I just said. Sure, roll back the tape. So, Dicey, you're married, right? I'm married. Yeah? What's yeah. your husband do? He, um, he's an actor, and, you know, so we're pretty broke since I'm a comedian and he's an actor. 
Has he been on anything we know? Well, he's uh, some Adid- Adidas commercials, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lifetime movies, stuff like that. Thank you. Scary black man. That's what he plays. Really? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. He, he kind of looks like the Predator a little bit. <laughs> oh. I, I saw him in the bathroom. This is your boyfriend? That's my husband. He's here right now. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Shout Scary out to Travis. <laughs> Is that him? Did I just immediately find him with my eyes? Shout out to Travis. He's back Husband there. find I've out. got good news for him. They just greenlit Battlefield Earth 2. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He does Earth look like two. Predator. Holy shit. Yeah, he does. I like that. Fucking Larry Fitzgerald. They are, they're making another Predator, too. Oh, I love that. Uh, where'd you meet that guy at? At the grocery store, fresh and easy. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. That's, that's, where the, perfect. that's where the white people slam the door yeah. on the face. <laughs> the fresh and easy. All right, fuck it then. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. What neighborhood is uh, that fresh and easy? It was in Hollywood. And our, our, our wedding was Hollywood themed. And um, we had a girl from TMZ marry us. Wow. And she was like, she was fresh and easy. So that's what <laughs> she actually said that in front of my parents at the wedding. A girl from TMZ. What did she? What did? What did she do for TMZ? She's one of the hosts on there. She's actually the only person that apply that replied to our Craigslist ad for a. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of that like is the funniest shit yeah. in the world. It's the truth. Did you talk about that? Truth is, she's the only person that. Re- instead of like you may now that. kiss the bride, was it you may now attack the cameraman? <laughs> mm. <No>. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. Dicey, what's the ni- what's the nicest thing a white person's ever done for you, or that or that? Yeah, let me ask that differently. What's the what's like the your fa- favorite thing that a white person's ever done for you? Favorite thing? Well, my my white friend, I always ask them if I could use them for their whiteness, like to find an apartment and shit like that. So the nicest thing is finding me an apartment, like calling and being the white voice for me. The West Side Rentals password. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the nicest thing. That's it. Probably. Jesus. Uh, would you like to do the Ice House this Friday for the Death Squad show? Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa, oh. Dicey. Yeah, look at that. Things yeah. are on the up and up. Thank Careers you. happen. Yeah. I killed yeah, Tony. You. Look what happens. If, if, you, you. if you complain about racism, we have to overcompensate <laughs> for it. <laughs> Welcome to 2016, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of your fucking eyes. What's, what time on Friday? 10 o'clock. Okay, cool. Don't I'll be, be late. late. I won't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dicey, there she goes. She's on Twitter at Dicey hey, Comedy. Hey, Dicey. Dicey, Dicey. Flying through it. Setting what could be uh, one of our most recent land speed records for getting through people. Tonight. Can I get another drink? Do you want Fuck another yeah. one? Yeah. I'm going to have a Crown Royal and Coke. Round of drinks for everybody, Can please. I get a Miller Light? Round of Me drinks too. for yeah. everybody, Me Josh. Too. Or w- anybody. I uh, pulled another name out of the book. Put your hands together for Rich Castaldo. Is there a Rich Castaldo? Oh, he's coming. Here he is, Rich Castaldo. In a wheelchair. Fuck yeah. Help Rich. Help him. Give him, the, give him the mic. Just hand him the microphone. Or put him up. Fuck yeah. You want to go back or start it there? Yeah, grab the handles. The, the back handles. <laughs> it's happening. Fuck yeah! Rich Castaldo! Yeah, you should give me a round of applause for getting up here because this is a pain, yes. Um, yeah, they did. All right, yeah, so my name's Rich Castaldo. Uh, at least it was until I got to Ellis Island. They're like, Casta what? We don't understand what that is. So they shortened it to Dick Castle because it sounds more American. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing, sta- doing sit-down comedy. And I say that, and I know it's stupid and lazy, but, you know, we're here. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so people ask, me, people ask me why I'm in a wheelchair all the time which is kind of annoying. Um, I was actually, uh, I, uh, I'm Italian, and uh, I was shot nine times, so people think I was in the mafia. Like, what actually happened was uh, I was shot by uh, two uh, white disgruntled goth kids. Uh, but I, I have a solution to the problem, and that would be to build a wall 
around hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, uh, that's it. That was a minute already. If you yeah. want, if, 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 here, take some, do, do some more if you want. Go ahead. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I just I, I I like to smoke. Actually, I have my 420 shirt on. I like to I like to smoke weed sometimes. Yeah, Doug Benson and Pods. Uh, yeah, but uh, I have sometimes. It's not legal everywhere. But um, it's uh, it's quasi legal here. But when I'm a, when I'm in other states, you have to. I smoke to. I le- I, I stick to government sanctioned stuff. Uh, liquor, porn. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Right. Assault I mean, rifle. I gave you some extra time, but Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> you had a real good it's list of all the things that here. are legal. Yeah, yeah. I don't good think job. that joke had legs, Rich. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. Did you Come go to on, Columbine? Guys. Columbine, yeah, I was, yeah. Did you Col- go to Columbine? Went to Columbine. Like, yeah. yeah, I really was at Columbine, and that's not funny because it's everybody's like, "What the fuck?" You know. You didn't really. No, I swear to God. Look are it you up. fucking I'm serious? He even has his book bag one, right here. I Holy w- shit! <laughs> what? What is this? What are you talking about? Are you wow, are you serious? Are you I am one hundred percent serious. Yes. Wow. He that said is he so got shot crazy. by some goth kids. Yeah, so. goth kids, Colorado. Add that up, and I saw you calm. in the documentary. I saw him in the documentary. Yeah, I'm in that fucking Michael Moore shit, whatever. Yeah, he was on the, the, the security Bowling camera. Bowling for Columbine? That's the one, yeah. Wow. And you recognize him from that? Yeah. Because that was how many years ago now? 2000. Why is a guy up there know exactly when Columbine happened? He's autistic. <laughs> what a weirdo. He's autistic. Co- the, the, the movie you're talking about came out in 2003, I think. 2002. Wow. 2003. Is it hard for you to talk about that day? It's pretty yeah, it's not really my favorite topic because, like I said, people ask me that shit all the time, and it's like fucking, I don't know. Of course, it's kind of irritating, but at the same time, it's like I gotta, I gotta overcome and shit. I gotta overcome, but not it's slavery, though, but that something, you know. <laughs> it's interesting that like we kind of, we, I don't know how many people put together specifically Columbine from just a couple of goth kids, so we just assume there was some random goth kids. Like, it's almost like you pretty much kind of need to just really tell us. The story, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's definitely. But then again, the the hot topic line's pretty funny. But I don't All know right, how much people would laugh at it in the context of being part of Columbine. Yeah, that's if you were in Columbine, I would just say hit it on the head. You just if you just say a couple goth kids, people are gonna think it was but Pat then, Reagan and Joel Jimenez. Maybe put it, it in. You. Maybe have it in your intro when you play a club, like you know him from Columbine, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a. Isn't that a challenge though? Because then you're the out, He did come out to like well, basketball music yeah, though. Like, like they could have. From what is Columbine, happening? Why is if you song? say he you're in, he's playing so it because play basketball school music. shootings. Oh, school okay, shooting okay. I get it. If yeah. you say you're in Columbine in your act though, you will become like a Columbine guy, and people will yeah. ask you questions about it nonstop. That's so what I, I was trying to avoid. I think I see. What well, you're so saying. maybe don't bring it up at all then, instead of a veiled reference to it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to tackle it, then you can tackle it. You know, there's certain things that, like, you know, I feel like... How long have you been on stand-up? <laughs> Not really tackle Sit it, roll down. over uh, it. Are you taking the Ran Azizi approach to comedy? The who? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't get what? The Rich, who? how long have you been on stand-up, Rich? <laughs> the last, well, off and on for a few years, but a little bit more serious the last six months, I guess, really. It looks like your side caps are handicapped, too. Wait, My shit. Side sideburns. Fuck. Oh, sideburns. Oh. <laughs> side yeah, caps. yeah, yeah. They're, side they're caps. long. Hey. You got really <laughs> fucked up side caps, dude. <laughs> you got to go to the bar, I get your side caps taken care of, see? They're a little long, I guess, yeah. You got a real side cap situation. It's <laughs> a whole rigmarole over there. <laughs> rigmarole. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Rich. <laughs> it's an interesting conundrum that he presents us. Yeah, definitely. It is a uh, one of a kind. Yeah. I, follow, I do follow up jokes on a... Uh, 9-11, uh, AIDS, and... Uh, wow, all the good Do you stuff. do jokes about those things? N- no. You don't? <laughs> what do you mostly talk about? How much How much time altogether do you think you have? Um, of s- material that you like and that you're confident Christ, with? Christ, I don't know. Altogether, I, c- I mean... I have a lot of shit, I guess, but probably... Just take a guess uh, Maybe at a it, solid <laughs> five or six minutes, I think. It almost took you five or six minutes to think of that answer, so <laughs> I believe you do. He's the first person out the bucket with a credit, though. <laughs> there you go. That's true. <laughs> it is true. I actually have a few IMDBs, but they're all... Mo- well, three-fourths of them are Columbine oh related, which is irritating, but... What's the fourth one? Oh, uh, it's, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like this ra- it's this random thing I was in for one of my friends. Uh, it was called Getting Lemons. Uh, it's just like a, it was like an indie film. Indie uh, doc about... I, uh, I'm not even really in I'm like an extra, and I'm not even really okay. in it technically, but... But it's still in your top four. 
Well, I'm, it's an IMDb credit, so I'll take it, you know? There you go. What makes you want to do a uh, sit-down comedy? I'm fucking tired of being, you're that guy, blah, blah. You know, people come up to me and say, you're that fucking guy. It's like, oh, God, I don't want to talk about that shit for the millionth time, you know? So now I'm talking about it, but just in a way that, like, that's not fucking depressing, basically. Mm-hmm. So. Is it enough to make you want to kill? Yeah. Joel Jimenez yeah. went for it. <laughs> he went for it. <laughs> Jesus. You put on that makeup and you just it just changes awesome. you. <laughs> I think I just evil, had a pat moment. I'm gonna sit right down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rich, it's one, it's like one of the it's 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 unbelievable. Like, so I can't tell. Like, are you trying to talk about it yourself to like for therapeutic or like does it feel good? Do you notice when you talk about it on stage? Uh, well, or would you would do you think it'd feel better if it got like heavy laps and I, things like that? Well, uh, I never know how to talk about it in like. I'd prefer not to talk about, but if people want to talk about it to me constantly. So if I'm going to talk about constantly, you should probably not talk about it if you don't want to talk about it. You should probably. Oh, we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> you're the guy like, that like, brought it up. Your question. <laughs> Did what you do you know mean them? we brought it up? You said you were killed by a couple of goth kids. Oh, my. Like, who's ever heard of that happening? Happen? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, <laughs> did you a little know sitcom them? laughter for no. you? <laughs> no. Yeah, one of the one of the one of the myths is that like everybody that was shot or injured like made fun of them, which totally wasn't true. I was just kind of there. Uh, I get like trolls online giving me hate mail sometimes. Like seriously, oh I'm God. like for the, what? They think I fucking bullied them. I'm like, no, you got it totally wrong. And just like you bullied them. That's what people think. How'd they get In, your email? In Colum in at Columbine, you were a bully. No, I no. No, no. that's what's well, oh, the idea. There was a couple of nerds saying. that shot. I got everything it. I got out. it. I got it. Now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. Tony's trying to think of puns. So <laughs> no, I'm trying to fuck. Oh, there's a there's a there's a rapper that came up with the song recently that said shoot him up like Columbine. Yeah, uh, I was listening that today. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh broccoli. Uh, what the fuck is that? Little broccoli. Yeah. Fuck yeah! For those of you that heard, like. For those of you that like mixing your rap and vegetables, Lil Broccoli is out now. <laughs> broccoli, yeah, whatever. Huh. I never liked vegetables. How anymore. long have you been doing comedy? Uh, uh, a few, few years. It was a few years, but you've been but doing it more aggressively the last six months. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, a little more aggressively, yeah. Hey, so uh, what do you do with steps. the getting up on stage every time? It's a hassle, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I Why don't know. they make wheelchairs with, like, built-in ramps? They do. They're just really expensive. Yeah, there's one for like fifty grand that like does. All, I just watch a YouTube on it, but I think it literally costs. Why like don't they make grand. wheelchairs that make you walk? <laughs> they have those. They have those. They have those though. If you Google that shit, That's I've great. never heard they, somebody complaining to a guy in a wheelchair. Why don't they make it perfect for you? Why do you make it so hard on yourself? Yeah. Don't you ask them? Hey, get me a ramp. <laughs> don't you call ahead when you go places? Uh, but shit, man. How long you been uh, in L.A.? I, I like what he's doing. Almo- I like him. Almost yeah. 10 years, I guess. 10 years. Something like that. Huh. Close to it. Where do you live? What area do you live in? I live in Hollywood. Like yeah. five five miles. E- no, like four miles east of here. Something like that. Hmm. You drive? Yeah. I drive with hand controls. That confuses people, too. I'm constantly explaining that. Another thing, people come up and pray to me, which is annoying because I'm basically an atheist. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people coming up and praying for me. They I'm just like, start praying? Did I start praying? They just start praying? Well, they, like, randomly talk to me, like, hey, I want to pray for you. Like, I've been in a wheelchair 17 years. It hasn't worked yet, buddy. I don't, <laughs> don't want to know when it's going to start. When it's gonna start but Do you talk about that on stage? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've had a, I have a joke about that. You have a half a joke about that. I have Very at least a partial joke about that. Oh. Okay. Fuck yeah. Huh. He just has to decide between talk about Columbine or not talk about it. Because if you talk about it, you it's know, it's very interesting yeah. and unique to you. But also, you know, you may just not want to have to discuss it with every single person. I mean, we know a guy that got an HBO After special the show. out of uh, saying that he had cancer. What's the first thing you'd do if you got the use of your legs back? <laughs> right? I, don't know. I mean, he might have. And that man is Carlos beach, Mencia. Carlos, <laughs> my buddy um, opened for him actually. Oh, that's cool. Your buddy opened for Carlos. Yeah, I know his dude Josh Blue in Denver. Mm-hmm. I used to know. I haven't really talked to him in years, but yeah, he opened for Carlos Mencia. Yeah, once. yeah. Josh Blue is famous from Last Comic Standing. Josh Blue's a good dude, and uh, show you'll probably never be on. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, there it was. They don't. He could still. <laughs> he could still be. On. Mm. Rich. What do you do for work? 
Uh, nothing right now. You hire? Oh, yeah, you probably make, like, some sweet Columbine money, huh? <laughs> like, there's got to yeah. be some type of yeah. payday. There, Did Michael uh, Moore just keep it all for himself? Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Is yeah. yeah works? A lot of people say I should, like, I don't know, shame him into giving some. <laughs> he didn't give me any, any of the money, no, no. But, but yeah. did you, you guys get, like, a cool settlement from that or anything? No. How does that work? Oh, yeah, I mean, there was a settlement with, like, the cops and shit. Um, mm. Yeah, I had, like, a trust and... <sighs> Okie dokie. I don't uh, want to talk about that again, shit. Some yeah, questions. Your, your instincts were right when you say you don't want to talk yeah, about I it. Yeah, I think you don't want to talk about it. So maybe yeah. like uh, maybe, you know, yeah. just roll with it. Or like, eh, uh, I mean, why did you say that? that? I didn't. I swear to God, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> literally, I roll. noticed right after I said it. Like you, you know, just like. Ignore no. it and, and you yeah. know make a joke of or something about the wheelchair. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to talk about, it, then you don't want to talk about it. There's certain things that, like, yeah, you don't I, have to I, be I a spokesman. There's certain things about my life that I still haven't uh, spokesman. You know, talked about because I don't <laughs> think I'm ready yet. Folks, sorry. he got it. All right, <laughs> Rich uh, Castaldo, everybody. There he goes, Rich Castaldo. He's on Twitter at Dick underscore Castle. Dick, Dick underscore Castle. All right. Sounds like heaven, Dick Castle. Just think, Rich, if that lady before you didn't uh, complain about racism, you would almost assuredly be at the Ice House on Friday. Let that bother you for the rest of the week. This is the most helpful, insane clown posse ever. <laughs> this is the quite mellow clown They're posse. They're so helpful uh, and sweet. The Diet Coke. They're really clown gentlemen, posse. those. Come on, ladies ICPers. and gentlemen, one more time for Rich Castaldo. Whoop, whoop. An American hero. Literally. That's some insane shit. He's on Twitter at Dick underscore Castle. Good if I could get another drink, follow. that'd be great. Uh, we have a regular. She does a brand new 60 seconds every single week. It's one of the toughest things to do. Unlike the people that you saw out of the bucket who debuted a lot of their 60 seconds sets tonight, she does a new one every single week. Put your hands together for Gen Vanessa Johnston. <laughs> Hi guys, um, Holocaust. <sighs> Nazis turned Jews into soap, which is kind of fucked up. Why would you make soap out of a group of people who you think are dirty? <laughs> I'm never gonna round up a bunch of homeless people turn them into a foam dispenser, and then scrub my face. <laughs> but Germans don't care because they smell like shit, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> They drink beer and eat sauerkraut all day. It doesn't matter what they wash with. So they decide to put the soul in sulfate soap. Does anyone know if they put a disclaimer on the box or if you just had to guess based on price? You're like, this soap is cheap. It's probably part Jew. Fuck yeah. <laughs> hate, a special uh, 60 seconds of pure hate speech this week. Really uh, bringing the Holocaust back like in a it. big way. Impressive deep dive. Why would you make soap <laughs> out of people bitter, that are yeah. so gross and dirty? And then not only that, but then you attack the Germans after that. Like, I like that. I mean, you're I just like against everybody. <laughs> Double what? Holocaust. Let the Germans kill the Jews, and then you want to kill the Germans after that. I see what's going Man. on. Complete world domination. Exactly. This is a real, like, Khaleesi situation yeah. we're dealing with. It's a white person who hates white people. I she like didn't call the Jews <laughs> dirty. The Germans did. Right. I totally oh, yeah. got that. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Yeah. It seemed like a few of those jokes near the end, you could actually just wrap it up easier. Instead of having that be its own joke, just try to take the tag from that and kind and of make it sound more natural. Tag it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, some of those jokes need more time in the oven. <sighs> oh. <laughs> and you're just the clown to lead the kids <laughs> into it. Uh, how, uh, what, anything else exciting in life happening? No. Anything else crazy happen this <laughs> week? I watched Dexter all weekend. That's probably why it's fucked up. Yeah. My bro the first season, the whole thing, all weekend. Yeah. Hmm. You're going to love it for I a like couple it. more seasons. It's like my inner monologue. What? You're going to love it for a couple more seasons. And uh, then no, gonna I'm going to cut really off at the first off. season. Yeah. Well, there you go. Vanessa awesome. Johnson. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Brand new minute with Vanessa Johnson. We have enough time for a turbo. 
set. We'll go into the bucket one more time. Do your minute. Keep it tight, whoever you are. Joe Watler, everybody. Here we go. Hello. I have two boys, and uh, kids are a lot of fun. Hanging out with my kids even inspired me to create a new drink. He makes Juicy Juice, an Otter Pop, whipped cream vodka, quarter pixie stick, and human tears. Either from you or the kids, doesn't matter. Then you drink it through a licorice straw and call it a drunken babysitter. The kids like that drink, too. I don't know if it's the booze or the sugar. They get pretty sleepy after. It's nice because it has all the flavor of a Casey Anthony, but only the strength of a Cosby Politan. That's tight. That's done. That's tight? That's done? Tight. That's wow. That's tight. Good night. 35 seconds. I've been tight. You've been great. Good night. Holy shit. Time's up. How long have you been doing stand-up for? First time? No, I like a couple oh, months. <laughs> shit, right. sorry. Sometimes I guess, and I'm dead on. Uh, I thought you meant keep it tight like 30 seconds, not like... Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a great true. line if you come too fast. That was tight. Good that night. Tight. Keep it tight. Yeah. Everything's all right. Good yeah. night. Yeah. Please forget do everything it. I said before. Uh, Joe, what's your story? What do you do for work? I got to uh, go. Joe, that's Joe Watler. Yeah. There he goes. There he oh, goes. Oh, we got to go. I shouldn't have gotten to the bucket. I'm sorry. Oh He's on God. Twitter at Max Capacity one We've run out of time. We have a hard Thanks, out. Dude. Here's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Yeah. Whoa, Young Jamie. Wow. Awesome. On the ship. Look at that. That's yeah, crazy. That's some job. Ryan J. Right J. Young Jamie, Jamie Vernon on the back. Uh, Pat Reagan. You can go. Joe Waltler's Max Capacity <laughs> 1 on Twitter. Pat Reagan's at Patty Reagan. Joel Jimenez at Mostly Sorry. Mostly Sorry. Jeron Horton. Watch Showtime coming up in, uh, what is it, November or something? It's not till March. Not till March. Doug Benson. Wow. Uh, Screen Junkies Plus, my new show, Pitch Off, starts Wednesday. Fuck yeah. And watch the Eric Andre show every Friday on Adult Swim. Definitely. And watch Why not? The Comedy Central roast of Rob Lowe, another roast that I wrote for, uh, is going to be out on Labor Day. So you can watch that. Watch Ann Coulter eat shit like she deserves to. Terrible human being. You thought Ann Coulter was bad before. It turns out she's worse. I love you all. Thank you, live audience. Good night.